Hello and welcome to the Kia eSoul 64 kilowatt hour. Let's look at the instrument cluster and the settings that we have. And what's interesting is when you turn it on and you don't have the seatbelt on, like in the Kona and in Euro, it beeps at you. But this beeping, this is a bit distorted for some reason. Loud. Ready to start driving. Oh, a bit of air conditioning. It's really warm in here. Turn down the vent. So, instrument cluster is the way that you always have your range here. This is your battery status uh, uh, on the surrounding here. You have your speed here, and this is how much power or you use or how much you regen. And when you change the drive mode, what changes are the things in the middle. Oh, the now on the left, you have the torque, how much torque you have. Don't. Yeah, there's still a button in the accelerator pedal that maybe I even dro even did not touch this when I did the the acceleration tests. Very possible. And here this just turns into a red, and then we have eco and normal and sport. Those are the things. And when you hold the drive mode, it goes into eco plus. But then the air conditioning is off. Even the whole climate is off, so save power as much as possible. Same settings here when you go through accumulated info, drive info. Can you reset this? No, same way, but accumulated info, hold OK to reset works. And your driving style, en energy flow, nobody cares. Next one would be your navigation and your compass, attention level, tire pressure, and then your lane keep assist. And then we have settings in a head up display, display height, rotation, brightness, content, content selection. Audio video info, that's new. Driving assist info, lane safety plan, spot warning. That's okay. Speedometer size, same as in the other cars. Color, it's the same. Driver assist. Smart cruise control, driving assist. I don't, like, I don't like this stuff. Driver attention, warning timer. What is this? Warning timer. I don't know what that is. Warning volume. Well, of course, low. We don't need that. Forward safety, active assist, warning only. Ah, oh, that's great. Lane safety, off. Blind spot safety, we want that. And that's it. Door, we have lock, and the same as in corner and in Euro. So the doors can lock when you put it in gear on a certain speed, or you have to do it yourself. Lock and unlock. Lights, one touch turn indicator, same. Great gear shift illumination. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god, four different patterns. Uh, what is this? Ah, the, the color? Headlamp delay that the light stays on until you, when you left the car, convenient utility mode. So uh, you can use heat, vents, USB, uh, uh, the, your music, media, and everything, and it won't use the small battery, a 12 volt battery in the front, it will use the big battery. Wireless charging, wiper uh, display, so it shows when you turn on wipers, but you can turn it off, but you don't have to see that every time when you use the wipers or switch something with the lights. Out the rear is that the uh, smart, smart recuperation has to be on, of course, IC road warning. Lock charging cable. Oh, there's no button. That's true. It's here a menu. Oh, that's nice. And service interval. Other features. Auxiliary battery saver. This is that the 12 volt battery is always has a good charging state. Reset off. Yeah, we don't need consumption unit. Of course, temperature unit. Celsius. Tire pressure unit. Of course. We want bar. And that's it. This is all our settings that we have in here. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.